I think the Declaration of Human Rights uh, being extended to digital rights is a fine idea. Uh, it's not a personal crusade of mine. I think it's been uh, very heartening to me to see Europe leading the way with uh, the Council of Europe um, uh, cybercrime uh, harmonization and with uh, the um, GDPR. I think these set examples for the rest of the world that are easily emulated. As you see, California has recently enacted uh, uh, similar provisions as the GDPR gives to uh, European citizens, Californian citizens now have, or Californians now have. Um, so I think, I think that shows that this is not some solution that only works in Europe. There's, there's no place that can't extend to their citizens the same kinds of, of rights and protections. Uh, so I, th I think we need to just continue looking for best practices globally. Um, it's nice that Europe has led in a few ways, but uh, there are other ways that Japan leads and other ways that Singapore leads and other ways that Brazil leads. And there are many places to look for good examples. And I think the, the sort of flattening of the world through global communication on the internet allows people to see what's good about other societies and what might be adopted. Um, I, I remember going to a law enforcement conference 15 years ago and hearing complaints from law enforcement uh, officials in, in many countries that the proliferation of American television was leading to criminals in their countries demanding to be Mirandized, demanding to have their rights read to them when they're arrested, right? When in their country, that's not a right. Right? You didn't, you didn't have that right, but television had led people to expect that right. In the same way, the internet allows people to see the best parts of other cultures and say, maybe we should have that as well. So I, that makes me very hopeful.